Ah, sewing box <laughs> on motorcycle gear. Catchy inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Health. Hope you enjoy the channel. In this series of videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Check out the website revelatorhealth.com. So, yeah, look, I'm talking about the stuff that we probably don't often talk about uh, when it comes to a motorcycle channel and motorcycle themes. That's it, running repairs on your motorcycle gear and doing a bit of sewing. Yeah, um, I've got to say, possibly just like everybody else, sewing is not really my favorite thing in the world to do. However, there is a necessity. Uh, and it's usually for doing little fixes, uh, just like I do fixes on my bike or whatever, I do little fixes. So here I've got my little hook tab thing has broken off so just a simple task just sew it up but how often do we get the needle and thread out and how often do we successfully repair something or do we send it off somewhere else or hopefully um, know somebody who's very good at sewing possibly all of the above I, I would imagine but look there's no reason why we can't do this and it kind of ripped up there so I remember when I was a child, uh, we had to do sewing mandatory uh, in school. Yes, Catholic upbringing and all that kind of stuff. Yes, beaten 10 times a day with a stick. But there we go. Made me the man I am today. Anyway, um, so we had to do uh, sewing. Now, I'm not sure that the kids of today uh, have to do that anymore. And in this throwaway society, possibly many people don't even sew anymore anyway. But anyway... I just realized I'm saying anyway a lot, but there we go. Right, uh, I suppose I better get the the needle and thread out and uh, see if I can fix this. It's one of those things, <laughs> whilst I wouldn't say it's at the top uh, of your things to learn in life, it's, I've got to say, learning to sew, even in a basic form, uh, is probably a really good thing to do. Um, many might not consider it very manly or whatever, uh, but I think that's a load of nonsense anyway. Basically, it's something you might need to do to be able to do running repairs on your clothing, on your trousers. I've split my trousers so many times that, you know, you just have to, you know, botch them together with a bit of needle and thread. And it makes them hold together a little bit longer. Uh, same with jackets, pockets. Pockets is another thing, isn't it? You know, jacket pockets, trouser pockets, whatever, always uh, ripping open, especially with all the amount of tools and sharp bits that we tend to stick in there as well. Uh, so I would say, yeah, definitely. If you're looking uh, to do sort of, sort of custom work on your bike, you know, putting covers on or whatever, then actually uh, being able to sew uh, is actually quite a good thing as well. Maybe you want to make pannier, you know, uh, saddlebag liners or something like that, you know, and make your own, uh, then this is a good trip. Now, this video isn't about how to teach you how to do uh, sewing, of course, but I just want to know from you guys, let us know in the comments, how many of you break out a needle and thread every now and again to fix your own motorcycle clothing uh, or, you know, sew your socks up that have got a hole in or whatever? Uh, or do you just not do that at all? Is it an age thing? Maybe the older generation, which I'm kind of now uh, part of. Yes, I actually get uh, emails now from uh, old age clubs, would you believe? Crazy. Uh, and, uh, you know, I even get uh, calls from my doctor now saying you really need to come in for a medical, you know, get a, get a once over. See, as soon as I turn to that magic number, all of a sudden I'm getting all this attention because I'm old. So maybe being old has its benefits because we have all this extra knowledge, all these extra skills that we very rarely use these days. But you can always use and maybe the younger generation just don't have that because it's a throwaway society. And you could extend this out to not just sewing, you know, fixing holes in your clothing, but I'm talking about, you know, household products, domestic products, electrical products. Let's talk about things on your bike. You know, you just think, oh, well, I wouldn't bother fixing it. I'll just get a new part and away you go. Maybe that's the way the whole life is, the way society is in general. But there we go. Anyway, right. Enough of that. Let us know in the comments. I'm going to get on with this. I thought it was an interesting thing to, to discuss, you know, sewing yeah great love it love it absolutely love it uh, and i'm sure other people out there will genuinely love it i just don't um 
but there we go. So I'm just going to fix this bit of needle and thread. Now I do need to get my glasses uh, because that's another thing with old age. Um, my eyesight has gone a little bit to be able to, here we go, thread a needle. I mean, you might not even be able to pick this up on there. I mean, I mean, look at that thing. I mean, you know, how <laughs> right. Anyway, let me get on with this. But anyway, let us know in the comments what you do with needle and thread. Uh, do you do it under the cover of night? Don't don't you tell your friends that you know you're secretly doing a bit of sewing? You know, I know, I know. But just come out the closet. Come out the closet. Let everybody know that you do a bit of sewing. It's okay. It's okay. Honestly. I've got your back. I've got your back. Right. Uh, catch you on the next video. Coming very soon. Hopefully, this will be repaired. It won't break. As usually happens after my little sewing repairs. They only last for about a week and I have to do it again. But there we go. Right. <laughs> First time. Look at that. Even up the ends. Bish bash bosh. Done. If you're a seamstress, I'm sure you'd be having kittens right now the way I'm doing this, but apologies to the trade. I suppose if you were in a motorcycle club or something like that and you're sewing patches onto your, you know, your jacket or your waistcoat vest or whatever, uh, then I suppose you'd do this quite a lot really, wouldn't you? I just, I just thought of that. Or don't you? Maybe you don't. Maybe you just send it out as well. I know going through leather, you need special needles and stuff like that, so maybe you do send it to somebody else. I don't know, let us know in the comments below. If you're a seamstress or somebody who does this on a regular basis, or you do lots of patches, sewing patches on leathers and whatever, uh, let us know in the comments uh, how I did. I'm sure, I'm sure not very well, but let us know. Let us know what you would suggest about doing running repairs and also about sewing patches onto, you know, jackets or whatever. <laughs> done, done, done. Right, that'll last a week. Catch you again in another video. Lots of videos coming. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Check out the website revelatorhealth.com and I'll catch you again. Ta-da.